going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. In today's video we have some important things to discuss about a brand new iOS version released by Apple. Well today, just a couple of hours ago, Apple released 15.6.1. The iOS version started rolling out a couple of hours ago and it's probably available right now for you. Now this one is currently signed with the build number 19G82 and it's signed alongside with 15.6. This is an important thing because you should definitely go ahead and save 15.6 blobs using Air Square blob saver which is available for free on github for both windows and Mac OS. It's also available for Linux. So why should you do that? Well, there are some rumors that there are some important vulnerabilities that were patched in 15.6.1, which could be usable for jailbreak purposes on 15.6. So it's a good idea to stay on 15.6 if you are already there. If you're on a lower version, stay as low as possible. But if you're running 15.6 over here, stay there. Don't go to 15.6.1. Apparently it patches some kernel vulnerabilities that could be used for jailbreak purposes. So it's a good idea to go ahead and save the blobs right now. I'm gonna make a more detailed video about the vulnerabilities and how they can be used for jailbreak purposes in a couple of hours, but for now go ahead right away and save your blobs for 15.6 because since iOS 15.6.1 is now out, 15.6 may not stay signed for too long. So if you're new to the channel, in order to save your blobs all you need is your device. It doesn't matter what iOS version you're running on your device because you don't have to update it, you just need the device for its unique number. And of course you need blob saver, which you can get from github.com slash air squared slash blob saver you go here to releases and you get the latest version in this case 3.2.1 it's available for mac os windows linux and stuff like that i already have mine in here it looks like this once you get it and you have to connect your device powered on and unlocked to your computer via USB cable. You press read ACID over here and it will automatically detect what kind of device it is, the model and the ACID. But if your device is an A12 device or newer, for example, iPhone XS, XS Max, XR or newer, which very likely it is, you're going to have to press specify app nodes here and read from the device. It may reboot your device and once it completes, it should actually fill out everything in here. Otherwise the blob may not be valid. In my case, because this device is not an A12 device, I don't need that. Here, very important, make sure all signed versions are checked over here and include the betas. It's always a good idea to include the betas because sometimes a beta might be vulnerable and good for jailbreak purposes. For example, 15.5 beta 4, but the stable version may not, for example, 15.5. So it's good to include the betas. Then you press go. And that's essentially it. It will automatically save the blobs. Your device will not be updated. You don't have to update to whatever version you're saving the blobs for. You just need your device in order to get those ACIDs and app nonces and stuff like that. And as you can see, success. It saved the blobs for all these versions, including 15.6 and the 15.6 RC and stuff like that. And that's it. You can find them on this location over here. You can use those in some cases using Future Restore. I have guides here on my website and compatibility charts and stuff like that, which devices can be downgraded with the blobs and which can't. But it's always a good idea to do save the blobs. So I definitely do that because Apple is likely going to stop signing it soon and it seems to be good for jailbreak purposes. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.